So wonderful. Well, what I'll do is I'll start with a little bit of teaching and then um, we'll go into the practice. So when we do go into the yoga nidra practice, um, you can find a place that's comfortable for yourself to lie down, whether it's the floor or the couch or a bed, wherever you are. Um, so Christiana, if you if you and your mother have also two different spaces there, or even if you know, one person is on the floor, whatever it is, is great. So, um, well, so is is this anyone's first time practicing yoga nidra and on sleep deep rest? No. Okay. All right. Very good. So I wanted to do uh, just a full just a full practice this evening, and um, it'll be kind of a, a start to finish um, complete yoga nidra um, non sleep deep rest practice, and it will cover all of the what are called sheaths or koshas um, in the yoga nidra the yoga philosophy, which is basically looking at the sort of layers of who we are. And so in meditative inquiry, um, part of the benefit of this practice is there's a relaxation that can happen, your nervous system, and it can benefit sleep and all kinds of other things. But the meditative self inquiry side of it, we're starting kind of at the beginning with setting an intention, and then we're welcoming the various aspects or layers of our being. And so, you know, we start with the body and the breath, it's called the Anamaya and the Pranamaya Kosha. And then we were inquiring and by inquiring, it means we're simply feeling the felt sense of the body and noticing the breath. So in that way, it's very similar to other forms of meditation. Um, but the way in is it's almost like you're diving down through the different layers of who you are. So body, breath, and you keep going feelings, emotions, keep going, beliefs, thoughts, images, memories. So if you can see, it's going from gross to kind of more subtle. Then also inquiring into uh, self and um, what some people could call like the thought of self or the I thought or the nature of self or mind. So there's lots of different ways into this inquiry this very essential inquiry for for meditation. And it happens later in the practice. Because as we begin the meditation practice, we're moving through the layers of our being. And by the time we get more subtle and subtle, we're noticing thoughts and images, and then it's easier to start sensing this felt sense of I, me, mine, or a core contraction that might be there along with a sense of kind of self and world. This is key in the meditative inquiry practice, especially in this context at the Alembic. Um, it's invited that we do the, the full spectrum of meditation here. And I love that, that um, Katie and Michael have invited me to teach yoga nidra really in the full form of it. And um, and so, hi Taylor, welcome. Yeah, and so as, um, as we are going through and sort of inquiring and welcoming the different aspects of ourselves, it's almost as if we're just like lifting up a, a layer or a sheath of identity, right? Another sheath of identity, sheath of identity, and then you kind of get to the thing that's the most subtle and core and you're left with what I want to invite you to discover what that is, but uh, something subtle and essential. And it'd be for some people it would feel just like a, a, a radiance, or some people would feel an empty fullness or um, many different flavors of this. And then at the end of the practice, we kind of, you know, walk back through the layers and kind of consider ourselves. Um, one of my teachers said, you act as if, <laughs> like as if, you know, you really are this body and mind and the person that you call the name of who you are. And, um, and yes, it is true. So 
I don't mean that uh, we forsake the relative truth for the essential truth, but when it's taken more lightly and we've seen all the way through and done kind of a core discovery, then I think we can put ourselves back together so it, as it were and move through the world in a lighter way. So this is key uh, for so many causes of suffering and also for getting close to that essential thing which which um, is who, who we are and that ties in not just essentially to our nature but also to our purpose in the world and and the way we're living and moving and acting so so that's why it's important not to forget any any parts you know not leaving any parts behind because if we just go straight for the essential which is absolutely fine to do in some meditation practices and that's no problem but if we do that and forget the other sheaths, then it can be hard to feel like an integrated whole when you put it back on. You know, you can feel like this separate transcendent being and then there's all the other stuff down there in a pile, you know, of layers. And so, but when it's seen essentially and then shines through all the layers, um, I do notice the lights shining behind me. So maybe that's why I keep talking about radiance, but, um, Taylor, I'm glad you're here. Glad you were able to make it. Um, nice to nice to have you. You can have your video off. <laughs> um, so, are there any questions before we get into the practice this evening? Any questions at all, or suggestions, or areas you'd like me to focus on in in the full practice? Okay, great. So you can feel free to have your video on or off. I mean, most people turn the video off, um, but you, it doesn't matter. You can have it on. I will be on video. And so I will do a piece of teaching here. It'll probably last over 35 minutes, I'm guessing, maybe 45, somewhere in there. And then at the end, we will stop the recording and be able to come back and have some reflection before we close. So, um, all right, so get settled. Feel free to um, just take your time to get into a position that is going to be most helpful for you to go into a state of possible deep relaxation, even sleep. So as I've said in previous sessions, sleep is absolutely welcome, in fact, if you were to drop right into sleep right at the beginning and wake up at the end, you, you'd still receive benefit because some part of you is still hearing the practice. And in fact, it can be very uh, deeply rejuvenating to do this with yoga nidra. So we're not fighting sleep. And if you'd like to follow along all the way through the practice, feel free to do that and see how that is for you. It's like an attention training practice in the sense that when you notice that your mind is distracted, you redirect attention to the guidance and to what the inquiry is in that moment. Always feel free to follow your own inquiry. My voice can be a, a guide post and you can have your absolute own meditative inquiry going that's separate from what I'm teaching, no problem. So this is more of a letting go than a um, taking on something new. So find yourself with um, yourself supported, perhaps a, a bolster or a pillow underneath your knees, your head elevated if possible. It's actually whatever position is comfortable for you. And we'll do the full practice here, inquiring with all of the koshas as we dive down through the layers of our being and then resurface. Feel free at any point in the practice to simply return to your breath as an anchor.
if something doesn't resonate for you. Let's begin with two slow breaths in and out. So however you'd like to take those. Just find yourself arriving, landing here, the sweetness of the evening. And feel all the connection points of the whole backside of your body where it connects with a surface that supports you, the back of your head, backs of your shoulders, your back, backs of your legs, heels, feel as if the surface is almost rising up to embrace or support you. If you'd like, continuing to follow these long, slow breaths in and out, not forcing, but gently extending the exhalation. And just as we start the practice, notice what's present for you in this very moment. Perhaps a feeling tone or a thought, body sensation, combo of everything. Just kind of noticing what's alive for you right now and can you welcome it just as it is? With a, with a softness and a kindness. So you're breathing in and out. It's bringing attention to your heart area. Notice what you experience as you allow attention to rest on your heart area and on the breath as it comes in and out. Allowing any sensations, feeling tones, emotions, thoughts. Maybe even saying your name inwardly to yourself, just kind of recognizing I'm here, that whole sense of self. Just welcoming these as, as movements that are coming and going. And let's set an intention. So if you consider, what is it that brought me here to this moment? Setting an intention for the practice. So perhaps that's just to follow along or to receive something like a rejuvenation or insight, rest, clarity, whatever it is, just naming that inwardly. And can you let that intention kind of as if it's dropped into a pond, can you allow it to sink? And as it sinks just a little deeper, feel into your heartfelt intention in your life. Maybe one word or phrase that resonates as something that's been a theme or a thread in your life that seems to be at the heart of everything you've done until this moment. 
kind of a core heartfelt desire, um, heartfelt intention. And this may just be a felt sense as you consider this thread that has been here throughout your life. But if there's a word or phrase that comes to you, just acknowledge it inwardly. Something like service or peace or integrity or family. You're letting your inner being acknowledge this heartfelt intention. This that comes sort of beyond you, but it moves through you, motivates you. And the third part of the intention practice is connecting with an inner resource or quality of well-being or ease or safety, peacefulness in your body. So maybe an image comes up like a gentle stream or the forest floor or a pet or a loved one that evokes this quality of ease, well-being. invites a deep soul relaxation. So if that comes to you, an image or memory, or just the felt sense, we're inviting in this quality of well-being. See what word comes to you as you explore this inner resource. And as you explore it, feel it as a felt sense. Notice your breath, feeling in your, your shoulders, your belly, the palms of your hands. We're inviting in this quality of relaxation. So this is the foundation of the meditation. And from here, we'll start with opening our senses. It would be like all of your senses were open kind of simultaneously where there was no longer any grasping behind your eyes for sight, mouth and nose for taste and smell, your ears for hearing. And your body for touch. It was just feeling open. As if you're like a receptivity for all of the senses, your body and being is a receptivity to sound air on the skin. Connecting again with the breath, the flow of the gentle breath in and out. As you breathe in, the belly may rise. As you exhale, the belly falls. Tuning in to the cadence of your own breath. Okay, 
And we'll rotate attention systematically through the body. So as I name a body part, simply notice the felt sense. So your attention is directed perhaps to the palm of the right hand, for example. And then allow your attention to rest gently on the palm of the right hand and then kind of release it so that there is simply sensation arising in the palm of the right hand. No separate doer doing the meditation, simply sensation present and experienced and perceived. There's a deep rest in this, kind of letting go of doer and doing. So we'll begin just by bringing attention to your jaw. So we'll start in the jaw and end in the feet. So as you sense your jaw, can you allow it to relax? There might be holding small bits of tension or tightness as you draw attention to your jaw. And then let your attention rest there and kind of let go and see what it's like to feel the felt sense of the jaw. Tight or relaxed, whatever state it's in, just bringing this gentle, welcoming attention. Feeling the flow of the breath as it comes in and out your nose or mouth. We're going to welcome the whole body into awareness now, the Anamaya Kosha, the sheath of the body. So sensing now left ear. So when I name left ear, allow attention to alight on the left ear and then just sort of be absorbed by the quality of sensation that's present. You may simply visualize your left ear. And if you do so, visualize the ear and then let go of the image and just feel the felt sense, even if it's a kind of feels like a nothingness. No worries, just being with your own experience, sensing the left ear. And from inside the left ear, can you take an inhalation and allow your attention to draw across the midline of the head to the right ear, noticing sensation in the right ear. Breath coming and going, belly rising and falling, sensation in the right ear. Another breath in, sensing both ears simultaneously, and then exhale, feeling the radiance of sensation of both ears, and even feeling across the midline of the head, so just between both ears. Notice whatever it is that you come upon, no need to judge, just being with it as it appears. Same with the eyes. So bring attention to the left eye. Can you sense behind your left eye? Letting go of any unnecessary holding, but being curious with the felt sense, the left eye. Can inhale and then exhale, slowly draw attention across to the right eye. Breathing in and out, sense behind the right eye and any tension may relax. It may tighten temporarily and then relax. 
Noticing sensation of the right eye. Taking an inhale and then exhale both eyes simultaneously. So sense now behind your eyes, take an inhale, and then exhale, can you allow attention to drift all the way through the head, the midline of the head to the back of the head, and then down to the back of the neck. As you do so, bring attention to any sensation in the back of the neck. This may be small muscles that are tight, or unnecessarily holding your head away from the surface that supports you. And as you bring this gentle attention and you allow it to rest on the sensation, can you feel as if the sensation just absorbs the focused attention and it just becomes moment to moment body sensing unfolding in your experience? So we'll continue on bringing attention to the left shoulder, take an inhale. Exhale all the way down the left arm to the palm of the left hand. You may feel like a throbbing or a radiance of sensation in the left palm or in the left arm shoulder. So as you breathe in and out, Notice any subtle sensation in your left arm and hand. There's no way this needs to look. But if you'd like, as you're exploring, can you allow your attention to be subtle, the felt sense to be subtle, as subtle as possible. You're just feeling the energy and the breath, the pranamaya kosha, the breath coming and going as you sense the body. And we'll do the same on the other side. So take an inhale, bringing attention to the right shoulder. And exhale down the right arm to the palm of the right hand. And as you breathe in and out, just feeling this perhaps radiance of sensation in the entire right arm, right hand. It's as if it's the only thing you can feel. It's just your right arm and hand, gentle, loving attention to the breath, to the body. And we'll do both simultaneously. So inhaling both shoulders, exhaling both arms and hands. So let go of thinking or directing attention. And can you feel simply the sensation unfolding in arms and hands? Thoughts may come and go. And simply allowing anything that arises in your experience to be here and then gently drawing attention back, arms and hands. Bringing attention to the torso, in particular the heart, as you breathe in and out. Belly rises and falls. 
The whole back is held and supported by the surface you're resting upon. Noticing the quality of your heart in this moment, whether it's emotional, physical. Just the purity of sensation. Some traditions call this like a shimmering or radiance. You may feel like a openness, spaciousness, or emptiness. So, or anything else that's in your experience is just perfect. So we're welcoming the whole body into awareness with the breath the layers of our being and bring attention now to the left hip. Drawing attention to the left hip with an inhale. Exhale all the way down the left leg to the sole of the left feet. It's, it's at left foot. It's as if your energy and attention with the exhalation flows all the way down your left leg to your left foot. And here too, simply noticing the sensations present. No need to judge or have it be different. As you're breathing in and out, notice belly rises and falls. Breath coming and going, sensation, left leg and foot. Any moment during the meditation, you can gently return attention to the inner resource, to this quality of well being, ease, gentle safety. Bringing attention to the right hip with an inhale. Exhale all the way down the right leg, the sole of the right foot. Tuning in energetically to the felt sense of right leg, right foot. Again, maybe an image comes of your leg. And can you allow the image to dissolve and it's just the radiance of sensation that's left? So your attention is gently oriented to your right leg and foot, and then it just dissolves right into the sensation itself. So the sensation is being perceived, welcomed, allowed, just as it is. Now take an inhale both hips, exhaling both legs simultaneously to the soles of the feet. Feeling all the way down the back of the legs to the heels, the front of the legs to the tops of the feet, soles of the feet. Breathing in and out, simply notice body sensations that are present. Making a gentle shift of attention now to the entire body, the whole backside of your body, front side, left and right sides of the body. So your attention opens out globally and then dissolves right into the moment to moment feeling sense of being. Letting the breath come and go gently. You're just riding the wave of the breath in and out, belly rising and falling.
Can you have a sense of like a kind, gentle awareness that's present? Kind of shining through these sheaths of body, breath, sensation. And then bring attention, is there an emotion that is present or a feeling tone that has been present today? And it could be anything. So just making this inquiry very gently, turning toward this your inner life feeling. Is there an emotion or feeling present like joy or peace or sadness or disappointment or elation. It could be any number of feelings. But just notice if there's anything that's alive in your experience in this moment, an emotion just to be met and turned toward and welcomed. It's the Manamaya Kosha, sheath of emotions. It might have been subtle, it might feel big, whatever it is. Can you feel it as a felt sense in your body? So if it's joy, maybe there's a feeling of spaciousness in the heart. If it's fear or sadness, maybe there's a contraction in the belly. You may even want to feel more than one emotion that may have been present today. So it's welcoming in perhaps disappointment or sadness, feeling, meeting, welcoming it as sensation. And then the next one, something like peacefulness or connection or love. If no emotion jumps out to you, then you can try on some of these that I'm naming, just feeling the felt sense of one and then another in your body. Just registering this layer of your being, this emotional feeling tone layer of your being that operates. Just getting in touch with it, bringing gentle attention Feeling it as you breathe in and out. No need to judge. Just welcoming, having this like underlying sense of welcoming presence to what it is that you are encountering. And you may notice as you welcome these feelings or emotions that it may lead you right into the next sheath, the Vijnana Maya Kosha, which is that of the memories, images, beliefs, thoughts. So you may have memories or images arise from the day or from the past. So we'll also turn towards this layer of our being, the mental layer comes along with images and thoughts, memories. And if you were to simply turn towards this layer of your being and open to what's here, what would want to be seen in this moment? Maybe there's a memory that arises or be like a color that's connected to a smell. It could be anything at all. A challenging thought, a joyful thought, a hope. As we kind of shine the light on this layer of our being, just encountering what's what's present, what's here. And if there are several different things, then just as we did with the emotions, can you feel them kind of coming and going, arising and fading away? Like a memory, a moment, 
in nature possibly or in connection with someone or a thought from the past. Just allowing these sort of mental formations to arise and then fade away. And if there are some that are more salient or sticky or feel like they really want to hang around to be seen and connected with and feel free to notice and turn toward any thoughts, memories that are present, wanting just a little bit of your care and your attention. But just as we did with the body and the breath, can you allow your attention to Gently rest upon whatever object that's here in awareness and then feel it kind of dissolve right into the felt sense. So even images, memories have a correlate somatic sense in the body. So can you, you feel your thoughts and memories here? Just get subtle. So allow yourself at your own pace to inquire subtly. You may notice there's a judgmental thought or a hopeless thought or that you have hopeful ones. Whatever it is, it's they're welcome just as they are. Noting if, if anything feels strong enough that you'd like to return to it later, just making a mental note. When you come back to the breath now, so we'll just take some long, slow breaths in. You can breathe in towards your heart area, exhaling out into your whole body. Breathing into the heart. Exhaling, whole body. So the body sensation, the breath, emotions, thoughts. As you breathe in and out to the heart, just noticing is there a sense of, of joy or well-being here that you can invite in as a felt sense? We're not trying to replace challenge. So if there's challenge present, then welcoming that just as it is. Feeling the spaciousness around it. And now it's as if you almost let go of directing attention. Just breathing in and out. It's like the body's being breathed. Thoughts, emotions, body sensations coming and going, breath coming and going. So here, uh, Shmita Maya Kosha, the subtle sense of self. So just breathing in and out. You feel the felt sense of self, of I, me, mine, maybe even saying your name inwardly. And this too, can you feel the, the sensation of it? This, it's almost as if you're not directing attention at all simply allowing an unfolding felt sense.
you may in this exploration feel deep spaciousness or an emptiness or a, a radiance coming out of an emptiness. You may feel something contracted, whatever is present in your experience, just feeling it from the inside, no need for a separate observer. Welcoming the felt sense of the sense of self. No judging, it's a natural movement. As you do so, you feel this spaciousness that's both well, perhaps a felt sense inside your body, but also surrounding the body. As if it's like a holding presence, the surface that's supporting you is like a holding presence, the space holding you. It may even become indistinct, the boundary between body with all of the associated feelings and thoughts and the space around you. It's like just sensing the unfolding experience from the inside with no, no need for a separate observer just can sort of dissolve into the welcoming, the spaciousness, the openness. Nothing here to grasp onto or need to know or learn or do or be. Perhaps a deep restfulness as you're breathing in and out, belly rises and falls. So natural, just a natural state. What's called sahaj, just a natural resting. So breath coming and going. Notice what description feels more resonant for you. It may be an open space and the felt sense in this moment, or it may be like a, a holding presence, just almost like an embrace. but coming from a place of no division, seamless. Deep rest. Just breathing in and out here. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go, no one to be. Your own gentle presence in community.
And then back into the heart again as the breath comes and goes, maybe into the heart. Exhale just flows out naturally into space, inhaling to the heart. So we've moved toward closing the meditation. Just ask very gently and quietly inwardly, is there anything in this moment that wants to be felt, recognized, welcomed, acknowledged? And just give space and see what comes. No forcing, just listening. And picture yourself going into the rest of your evening, kind of feeling back through the layers as you put them on, of cognitions, of maybe repeating inwardly even your name, the sense of joy or equanimity, thoughts, emotions, body sensations, just your whole experience. But it's as if this kind of reconstitutes what just, it's allowed, it's being carried by life through the evening. It's lighter. Maybe picturing yourself as you fall asleep and then wake up in the morning and feeling a rejuvenation and a, an inner connection. that's nourishing for your being. We'll close the meditation in any way that feels right for you. And as we close, you may kind of spontaneously bring your hands into a prayer position or perhaps one hand rests on the chest, one hand on the belly with a sacred moment of gratitude for being here. Entering into the practice. And we'll begin to sort of maybe the hands move into fists and release and the toes begin to move around a little bit. Um, it may feel right to draw your knees in toward your chest and roll off to one side, but do this all at your own pace, going slowly. And if you'd like to remain just where you are and fall into sleep, no problem. Just at your own pace, sort of, if you do come back, coming back to a seated position, your own timing, no rush. And we will uh, stop the recording here. Thank you.